Combat and Story Super Standout in Scarlet Nexus. Combat's flashiness, fluidity, and impactfulness makes its combat the best so far compared to any other action RPG in 2021. Hello guys, this is Genuine Gaming, and I make PC game reviews, tips, and guides. And this is Scarlet Nexus Review. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to leave a like. And if you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. Story, Great Anime The game is set in an alternate reality where people has developed a technology and formed a society based on the substances found in human brains. These substances also grant superpowers like fire control or pyrokinesis, electricity control or electrokinesis, the ability to move objects or psychokinesis, and other abilities. You can play as Yuwito Sumeragi or Kasani Randall, members of the OSF or the other suppression force tasked to defend New Himuka from weird creatures called the Others, both of whom possesses the ability of psychokinesis, allowing them to move things through their minds. As you join the OSF, you would also discover the real history of the people living in the New Himuka or Seiran. Playing as Yuito will show you the story of the game in Yuito's perspective. And playing as Kasane, the game will show you the story in Kasane's perspective. The story is a typical anime story about friendship. The story has depth, the characters are well developed, and the way it is told is mixed with a manga and anime type presentation. Gameplay Flashy, fluid, and impactful combat. If I were to simplify and describe the combat mechanics of Scarlet Nexus, I would say it's flashy, fluid, and impactful. And in conclusion, it's super satisfying. Flashy moves One thing that makes a great combat system of the game is to be able to do some flashy moves. These good games would allow you to do these fantastic moves if you're able to comply the requirements of doing so. Most of these moves are placed somewhere late in the game. However, with Scarlet Nexus, the flashy moves are available to you early in the game, giving you a large amount of your gameplay to be able to use it. These moves don't come it easily. You have to perform certain combos, or do a perfect dodge, or focus your power in a certain amount of time to be able to do these flashy moves. Fluid Attacks Responsive and fluid attacks would always make a great action game. The combat in Scarlet Nexus is very responsive every time you press the attack button. And the animation looks so fluid. Look at these clips as an example. Impactful hits. Every time you hit something in Scarlet Nexus, feels impactful. The size of the things you hurl at enemies would even matter. Big things give more impact compared to small things. These simple details would add some good things of combat. Unique boss fights. Another thing I like about this game is that every boss fight is unique. You cannot use the same technique over and over again to beat a different boss. In every boss fight, the game encourages you to use the unique abilities of your companions. Minimal Level Designs The negative things that you would find in Scarlet Nexus is the level design. I would say that they pretty much focus on the combat system and gave little time to the level design. The level design is so minimal. You see some copy and paste on some levels. And the levels are particularly the same except for the enemies that they put on it. There is this corridor and a wide area of combat. Another corridor. 
another wide area, another corridor, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean. My genuine verdict. Combat and story super stand out in Scarlet Nexus. Combat's flashiness, fluidity, and impactfulness makes its combat the best so far compared to any other action games in 2021. The story is deep as to the plot, and the characters are all memorable to me. Every time you bond with the characters is worthwhile, especially if you love stories. All things in the story are well thought of. What lacks is a level design. The level design is so plainly boring. However, the level design can be pretty much overlooked as every combat you encounter is so satisfying. There is also the concern of the side quests in the game wherein you do not encounter them as you go normally through the game. You have to veer out from the normal course of the game in order to encounter them. I see this as bothersome for those casual players and an extra effort for those 100% completionists. All in all, I give Scarlet Nexus an 8 out of 10. This game is a must try to all action RPG and JRPG lovers out there. And I would recommend this game to any gamers who watch this video. Leave a like if this video is helpful or let me know in the comment below. For more Steam game reviews and tips, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click the bell button to always get notified every time I upload one. See you in the next video. Ciao!